Hello friends, today we are going to perform an experiment to determine the value of Planck's constant using photocell or photo vacuum tube. So let's begin with the experiment. So this is a very simple experiment. Here is the setup for this. In this setup, we can see that we have one voltmeter, one ammeter and a power supply, a photo vacuum tube and a light source. It's not always necessary that you will get a setup like this. Sometimes you may get these components separately. But what does matter is the circuit diagram. We will make the circuit using its components and will perform this experiment. Before coming to that point, we should learn about what is inside a photo vacuum tube. So when light falls on a metal plate, according to photoelectric effect, some electrons eject from the surface and there is another collector plate where these electrons are absorbed as we know according to photoelectric equation photon energy can be fragmented into two parts one is work function so the basic energy required for electron to come out of that metal surface and the rest is the kinetic energy if we apply a positive potential on the collector plate in that case these electrons will be attracted towards this collector plate and fastly they will move towards this plate. This will increase the current in the circuit. But if we apply a negative potential, these electrons will feel repelled and a suitable potential will make this current zero in the circuit. That is known as stopping potential. So our purpose in this experiment is to find the stopping potential the minimum voltage at which the current in the circuit is zero here we start the experiment first according to circuit we want to set the voltmeter parallel so in first step just connect the voltmeter parallel to the power supply in the next case we want this photocell this ammeter in series with the power supply so just take one wire to the photo vacuum tube another wire from photo vacuum tube to dc ammeter and another wire from dc ammeter to back to the supply that's it the circuit is now complete now switch on the light source and also switch on this dc power supply now this white light carrying all the wavelengths are falling on this metal plate but we want a specific wavelength to fall on the metal plate that's why we can use these filters these are glasses of different colors so that they allow only one wavelength to pass we can first apply this red filter now only red light of certain wavelength will enter inside now adjust the voltage knob, adjust the potentiometer and reach to the voltage where you get this current in ammeter to be zero. Sometimes on increasing this voltage, this current starts increasing. In that case, you can understand that you have connected these voltage terminals oppositely. If you find that, then just switch the terminals of your voltage supply now change different filters and determine the stopping potential and note down their values in this table. So in one column we have calculated the frequency of these lights and in another column we can see their stopping potentials. These wavelengths may be sometime different according to your setup or the set of filters you are using. These values are not standard so just check out which filters do you have and not these values according to them if you plot between frequency and stopping potential you will find these data points and you will find a curve like this we know that the energy of the photon is equal to the work function and the kinetic energy of the electron and this expression can be written in this way here v in the ev is the negative potential which is equivalent to the kinetic energy of the electron emitting out of the metal surface. After rearranging this a little bit, we get an expression like this. In this, you can see that this is similar to an equation of a straight line. 
where on x axis you have frequency and on y axis you have stopping potential and from this formula the slope of this line will be equal to this quantity h by e as we know the value of e is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and after multiplying this slope we find the value of h which is Planck's constant isn't it a simple experiment just move a little bit further and we know the theoretical value of Planck's constant. In this way, we can also calculate the percentage error in our finding. To prepare the questions about Planck's constant experiment, you can also watch our video on Planck's constant viva voce. Also, you can donate us and we will bring more educational videos for you like this. If you find this useful, then don't forget to like to this video and share it with your friends. Take care. Have a good day.